Safety is really primary to really all of our core values, people, performance, um, and community, and it's um, really the forefront of everything we do. Our safety professionals works integrally with the operations, and they work with the operators, the laborers, the guys with the boots on the ground. We start every job with a pre-construction meeting with the whole project team and the safety team together in one room, uh, and we lay out what the job's gonna require. Uh, and that evolves then later into on the actual jobs themselves. We have site-specific uh, health and safety plans that we write for, for each job specifically. And we rarely get caught, you know, uh, on the short end or, or, or unprepared for, for a sensitive task. If your name is said first, you are the zone leader, you are assigned a radio. Our EMR is very, very, very important to us. It's a safety requirement and it's for us to be able to work on large projects. We've been fortunate over the, over the recent years to keep our rates uh, very low. Our EMR history is fantastic. We are below one. If you are above one, you do not even get an opportunity to work on their or even better on their project. Independence has got a extremely large fleet of equipment. They invest tremendously into making that equipment work well. We put full cages independent of the cab, and then we protect the machine with shielding, guarding, and everything else. So it's not just go to the store and buy a piece of equipment off, off the shelf and go to work. We spend a lot of time, effort, and energy making that piece specific for what we do. We want to make sure that every gentleman, lady that's on our job goes home every night to see their wife and kids. We are an industry that's dangerous. You constantly think about what would I put a family member of mine in? What would, what would I have my son doing? And I believe that the difference is felt here. If there's a better, safer way to do it, even if it costs more, that's the way we're gonna do it.